Okay, 4.1 ordered pairs and graphs. So we're gonna plot points on a rectangular coordinate system. We're gonna determine whether ordered pairs are solutions of equations and we're gonna use verbal problem solving method to plot on a rectangular coordinate system. So a little refresher, remember your co coordinate system, your X, Y axis. We have the X axis is gonna be horizontal, the Y axis is gonna be vertical. And when we name our quadrants, it's counterclockwise. So top right corner is quadrant one, because all the values of X and Y are positive. Then we go to the left, we turn 90 degrees to quadrant two. All your X's are gonna be negative and the Y's are positive. You go down to quadrant three, X's and Y's are both negative values. And then we go to quadrant four, where the X's are positive and the Y's are negative. And then basically we start the cycle again. So it's always gonna be counterclockwise when we call our system. The origin is a neutral point of zero, zero. So for this process, I'm gonna start with example four, verifying solutions of an equation. So on your SAT, ACT, um, state test, whatnot, they may ask you to determine whether each ordered pair is a solution of an equation. So they want to know if the ordered pair 1, 2 is a solution of the equation x plus 3y equal to 6. So they gave us an ordered pair. The first way thing to do is identify your x and y. We are writing down our equation it's x plus 3y equal to 6. And they want us to evaluate 1, 2, the ordered pair 1, 2 in the equation to see if the left is going to equal the right. So you're going to substitute in for x, which is a 1, and we're going to substitute in a 2 in for y. And they want to know, does it result in the same value on the left and right? So we get 1 plus 3 times 2 is 6. Does it equate to 6? Well, 7 does not equal 6, so then this would be not a solution. So then they want us to try the next set. The next order pair is 0, 2. So x and y, we write our equation. Again, x plus 3y equals a 6. Again, we are substituting in. x was a 0, y is a 2. So we are still 0 plus 6. 6 on the left, 6 on the right. So yes, a solution. Example five, finding the total cost. You set up a small business to assemble computer keyboards. Your initial cost is $120,000 and your unit cost of assembling each keyboard is $40. Write an equation that relates your total cost to the number of keyboards produced. Then plot the total cost of producing 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000 keyboards. So first thing we need to do is come up with a verbal model so we can get our problem started. So total cost is going to be equivalent to the unit cost. times the number of keyboards. Plus the initial cost for the startup. So let's identify what they gave us in our problem. Total cost we don't know. So I'm going to say that's going to be the letter C. Unit cost. When we looked at our, pro our paragraph, it said the unit cost of assembling each keyboard was $40. So our unit cost is 40. The number of keyboards, they did not tell us our number of keyboards right now. That is going to be our X, our initial cost. They told us that our initial cost was 120,000. So now we need to come up with an equation based on this information. So let's see, total cost, that's our C, equal sign unit cost, our unit cost was 40, 
times the number of keyboards that we don't know, that's X, plus the initial cost. Our initial cost is $120,000. So there's our equation. So think of this as being in the form of slope intercept, which is Y equals MX plus B. So then they want us to come up with a graphing value and they wanted to find the total cost of producing 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000 keyboards. So those are our values. So we have, that's our X's. I'm gonna write our right formula. So they wanted 1,000 keyboards. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. So all we're going to do is take our equation that's given, that I wrote down here, and we're going to replace x with that value. So the first one, 40 times 1,000 keyboards plus 120,000. So 40 times 1,000 is 40,000 plus 120,000. So we're going to add 40,000 more to this one. So we get $160,000 here. Then we go to the next one, 2,000 keyboards. So we have 40 times 2,000 keyboards plus 120,000. So four times the two is eight. One, two, three, four, zero, so that's 80,000 plus 120,000, which brings us to 200,000. Then we go to the next one, 3,000 keyboards. So we have 40 times 3,000 plus 120,000. So four times the three, that is 12, and four zeros. That's 120,000 plus another 120,000. That gives us 240,000. Do you notice a pattern? We had $160,000, we gained another 40,000 to get us to 200,000. We gained another 40,000 to get us to 240,000. So it means when we do 44,000 keyboards, our result should be 280,000 because four times the six, four times the fours are 16 with four zeros. And I'm adding 120,000. So we get $280,000. And again, when we get to 5,000, it means we should increase by another $40,000, bringing us to 320,000. So we have 40 times 5,000. That's 120,000. Four times five is 20 with four additional zeros, plus the 120,000. 200,000 plus another 120,000 is our $320,000. So the first part, they wanted us to identify the parts of our um, verbal model generate a table, and then they want us to graph it on a graph. So this is gonna be a rough sketch for your graph using what they gave us. Remember the X's are gonna be your unit value across the X axis. The total values is gonna be on the vertical line. So because there are breaks in the graph, we're gonna do simple 160,000, so we're gonna start with a basic line. So I'm gonna say this is 160,000. We have um, 200,000 about here. 240, 280, 320. This is our total cost. Please in dollars. On the cross the bottom, it's our number of keyboards. So you need to label it. So here's a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand, fifteen thous
2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. So when we had 1,000 keyboards, we were 160, 2,000, we were at 200, 3, 4,000 here, and 5,000 here. So I plotted our point. And notice that it is a sloped line. Our sloped line because notice that we are gaining 40,000 $40, dollars per every additional thousand keyboards. 